So what is the Maxi Controller? The Maxi Controller is capable of operating and monitoring your dim lux lighting and CO2 equipment straight out of the box. Add a dim lux aux box and you can regulate fans and the switching of pretty much any piece of grow room equipment, including heaters and humidifiers. There are two versions of the Maxi, the standard model and a version which features a USB port for data logging, providing you with in-depth information on an array of parameters like temperature, humidity, VPD, lighting output and CO2 concentrations. Today we're going to talk you through the basic operation, the features that most of our customers tend to use when running one of these systems. The Maxi controller is capable of a lot, so programming it can seem a little bit intimidating, but actually it's pretty easy. First things first, hold down the set button to switch between basic and advanced modes. Switching to advanced will allow you to take advantage of the full range of features. Each time you hit the button on the left hand side, the off modus button, you'll move through a list of options. First one, lights permanently off and lights permanently on, do exactly what you'd expect. Then you've got lights controlled by timer, lights controlled by countdown, we'll go into this a bit later in the video. Lights controlled as a slave invert and lights controlled as a slave copy. And these two are used when you're linking two maxi controls together. So this isn't something that we're gonna go into today. It's a little bit more in depth. Once you've found the option that you're looking for, hit set. For most growers, this is gonna be lights controlled by timer. We'll show you how to choose your lighting schedules in a second. Pressing the escape key allows you to flick through your different information displays. Lighting is the default. It tells you the time, the current room temperature, and the time remaining for the lights on period if you're using the timer functionality. The next screen displays information on CO2. To use this, you'll need to be running a dim look CO2 sensor, which measures CO2 concentrations in the air and switches dosing equipment on and off to maintain your chosen level. You can see that level displayed here along with the actual level in the room. The next screen is for the AUX box stroke fan controller. That's a separate piece of equipment that allows you to switch other items of grow room equipment on and off and control fan output rates. It shows you the current temperature and fan speed. The next screen shows VPD levels. Pressing set will take you to a settings menu. And this settings menu is gonna be different depending on the display mode screen that you're on. So for instance, use the escape button to navigate to the lighting screen, hit set, and you'll be taken to the lighting settings. You can then use the up and down buttons to scroll through a list of options. In this case, the first option is time. To set the time, hit the set button again and use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the setting as required. The next setting is for the date. And the next one is timer and this regulates the switching of your lights. Choose your on and off times and use the mode button to select lights controlled by timer. Next, we've got countdown on off. This is an interesting mode that will let you run lighting patterns like 10 hours on, 10 hours off. It doesn't get used too often, but it's full if you've only got a limited amount of time to finish a crop. These settings aren't an option with regular timers because the on and off times actually change on a daily basis when you're running a 20 hour day. But with the Maxi controller, it's easy. Once you've set this, use the mode button to choose lights controlled by countdown. And next we've got rise and fall time. Rise and fall time is often referred to as sunrise, sunset mode. Here you can choose how gradually you want your lighting periods to ease in and out. If you're using a contactor and timer, your lights will switch on and off quite abruptly in a way that's completely unnatural. By increasing and decreasing output rates slowly, you can mimic natural sunlight. Plants will react better to gradual changes than sudden shifts. Setting rise and fall times will also help to prevent issues with rot, which can occur when warm air hits cold surfaces. And then we've got temperature limit. One of the big advantages of the Maxi controller is the ability to automatically dim your lights when temperatures get to levels that affect plant growth and turn lights off altogether for safety reasons if temperatures get too high. The first setting tells the Maxi controller when to start dimming. The second setting tells the Maxi controller to switch off any lights that connect it to ports two and four. So you can effectively switch off half of your lighting to keep temperatures in range. The third setting is the safety setting that is used to switch lighting off altogether if heat levels get into the critical zone, giving you complete peace of mind while you're away from your grow room. And we've got temperature offset. Quite simply, this is a way of calibrating your temperature sensor to put it in line with your other equipment. Output power, which is used to choose the type of lighting system that you intend to use your maxi controller with, whether it's a single or double CDM or a 600 watt or 1000 watt HPS unit. 
Then we've got half false mode, which is for alternating between uh, lights to save 50% on energy, which can work really well in larger rooms. After power fail, it's pretty self-explanatory in that it tells the Maxi what to do after a power outage. Generally, you wanna keep this set to continue so that your lights kick back in automatically. The next setting controls the LED backlight so that it either stays on permanently or automatically switches off when not in use. We'd recommend automatically switching it off. On the next screen, you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And finally, as the name suggests, dual room mode is for running two rooms at the same time so that light periods alternate from room to room. If you need any more information, come and see us in store or give us a call.